Hey guys, it's Cece and today I'm here to talk about some of the stuff that I got for Christmas. So today I'm just going to be talking about a few of the things that I received for Christmas, especially stuff that I thought you guys would be interested in because I've got like some books, some Raven Cycle items, a couple of items of clothing, and I just thought that that was all stuff that you all might be interested in, so that's what we're gonna do. I have a little stack of stuff I wanna talk about, of stuff I got for Christmas from my family, uh, from my girlfriend, from friends, and let's just talk about it all. First up, I wanna talk about a new pop I got, and that's this Leslie Nope Funko Pop from the show Parks and Recreation. I love her. I really love Parks and Rec, and I have been re-watching it with my mom and my sister lately, and I just decided after they released the Funko Pops for the show that while I liked them all, I didn't necessarily need them all, except Leslie. I need Leslie because she's my girl. She inspires me, and she's wonderful. She's a fabulous character. So my mom got me this, and she's already perfect, and she looks very distinctly Leslie Nope, but if you look, she's holding the book that she wrote about Pawnee, and that's perfect to me. I have no idea where I'm gonna put her yet. I'm definitely gonna take her out of the box, but I haven't quite figured out a place on the shelf where she's gonna go. We'll, we'll see. She'll appear somewhere behind me at some point. I also got a very fun and cool coloring book from my sister. It is chalk style holiday coloring book. So basically, the coloring pages look like this, where it's black in the background, and then you can color in all of the white spaces. It's really cute. Plus, these are really simple designs. Most of them are just, like, lettered designs, and that's much more my speed in terms of coloring, especially because lettering is kind of all I do when I design fancy stuff in my bullet journal. So I thought this was a really thoughtful and fun gift, and I can't wait to start coloring some of the stuff that came inside. So this is a ridiculously sweet gift. Owl Crate sent me a Christmas present, and that was so incredibly nice of them. Even nicer is the fact that it is a tote bag, which we all know I love. So we've got the Owl Crate logo on one side, and then on the back we have hashtag Owl Crate. I love Owl Crate. I love that they work with me as much as they do. I think that they make great stuff, and so it was so, so nice to get home one day and find the surprise waiting for me in my mailbox. It also came with a couple of Owl Crate stickers, one of which is already on the back of my laptop. So I just thought that this was a really thoughtful Christmas gift, and I wanted to share that with you because, like, it was so nice of Owl Crate to send this to me. So now I want to talk about a couple of shirts that I got, and the first of them Let's talk about the Porg shirt that I'm wearing. Isn't it glorious? So this shirt was a Christmas gift from Janelle's parents, my girlfriend, and it is from Hot Topic, and it's just this really simple t-shirt with a little Porg on the side. There's a Porg on it. Everything's perfect. I saw The Last Jedi with Janelle when I went and visited her over her birthday and loved it. I really want to be able to go and see it a second time, and I loved the Porgs. I thought they were so cute. I was a huge fan. So when I opened this gift and found out that I get to wear a shirt whenever I want with a porg on it, I mean, I was overwhelmed. It's a glorious shirt and it's really comfy and it fits me really well and all of those things make me happy. I really like the banded t-shirts. I have a few of those that are just like plain t-shirts. So to have a printed one where I also get to have another Star Wars shirt, aces. I also got one other shirt that I want to talk about. This is one that Janelle got me. It is this, it says, Aru. This is a t-shirt that came from the shop of my favorite podcast, Buffering the Vampire Slayer, which is a podcast dedicated just to talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one of my favorite shows. It is hosted by Jenny Owen Youngs and Kristen Russo, who are both incredible ladies on their own, but they are also married to each other and talk weekly about Buffy the Vampire Slayer and write Buffy songs. I started listening to Buffering the Vampire Slayer about a, a year and one month ago. They always cheer me up when I'm sad. I love listening to the Buffy music that they've created, as well as Jenny's music that she creates outside of Buffy. And I just really wanted a, a shirt to represent my love, and this is, a, this is a thing that represents that podcast. If you're into Buffy at all, you should listen to Buffering the Vampire Slayer. They talk about one episode at a time every week. It is non-spoilery, so you can go, even if you've never watched it before, you can listen week to week. And I highly recommend it, and I'm so glad Janelle got me this shirt so that I can wear it and profess my love for them even more than I already do. Next up, I want to talk about a couple of things my aunt got me. First of those is a pin. This is a pin from Out of Print. I have a ton of their stuff at this point. People like to give me stuff from Out of Print, and... I'm not complaining, they make really excellent stuff. I have a mug from them, I think I have a pillowcase, 
definitely have at least one pair of socks, if not two. And now I have this great pin which says, books turn muggles into wizards. I think it's wonderful and perfect and I collect pins so I cannot wait to add this up onto my pin board and to my pin collection. My aunt also gave me this really adorable book that's called I'd Rather Be Reading, A Library of Art for Book Lovers. It was put together by Guinevere Delamar. Now this would have been a really cool book if it just included art of books, but I think it's a really great collection of various items. So there are multiple essays in here about reading, which I have not had the chance to read yet, but I can't wait to do that. There's art of books, there are quotes and photography. I love the art. I love the art in here. I just absolutely love this book. I thought it was a perfect, whoa, I thought it was a perfect gift for me and really thoughtful and I can't wait to go through here, read some of the essays and interviews and look a little bit more closely at some of the art. I just thought this was really thoughtful and nice and if you are a lover of reading then I recommend looking into finding this book too because it's really great and I love it. Speaking of books, my uncle also got me a gift for Christmas and he got me this book by Ursula K. Le Guin, which is The Left Hand of Darkness. Now my uncle Jason adores Ursula K. Le Guin and he's been trying to get me to read books by her for like my entire life and I feel bad because I haven't, but I think he hit a home run with getting me this book because this is not only like a famous piece of fantasy, but it is also incredibly famous in terms of feminist fiction, feminist fantasy, and I kind of can't believe that I got through multiple women's studies courses centered on feminist literature and never read this book. This book is set on a planet called Winter where there is no gender, and so the people who live there become male or female during each mating cycle. So. Possibly it sounds like a very binary discussion of gender, but I've heard like amazing things about this in terms of the gender discussion and also it's just such a famous piece of feminist fantasy that I have to have the chance to read it at least at some point in my life. Should I end with books or Raven Cycle stuff? I'm gonna talk about the last of the books and then I'll get into the Raven Cycle stuff. That's how we're gonna do things. So I asked my mom for something very specific for Christmas this year and she tracked it down. I am so incredibly grateful she did. It is the Chronicles of Narnia, but they are in publication order. So that means that the first book is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and that is what I wanted. I wanted my own copy of these books that are numbered in the order they should be numbered in and that were numbered in the order I originally read them. I read the Chronicles of Narnia when I was just a little kid. My mom read all seven books aloud to me. We started with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and we went in publication order. And what my mom found out when she was trying to track these books down is that they stopped publishing them in publication order in the 1990s. And that's when they started going into exclusively chronological chronological order, which like, I get if you want to read them in chronological order, but I think publication order allows you to discover so many things throughout the series, and I like that process of discovery a lot more. So this set is from 1980. That is when these books were published, and I'm going to show you the covers because I think they're very 1980s and great. So here's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, my favorite of the series, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, The Horse and His Boy, The Magician's Nephew, and The Last Battle. I am so incredibly grateful for my mom for tracking these down and finally putting something into my book library, my personal book library that I have wanted for years and years of my life. I cannot wait to put these on the shelves and eventually reread them for the first time since I was a kid. This is just like, I absolutely love this gift. And now the only stuff I have left is Raven Cycle stuff. So if you could not care less about the Raven Cycle, I will understand if you leave now. Thank you for watching. But if you have read the series and want to see this stuff, or if you haven't and you're still interested, thanks for watching. Let's talk about it. I have two mugs and two pieces of art. First up, let's talk about one of the mugs. It is this one. My wonderful, wonderful friend Rachel sent me this mug. She is also an author, by the way. She wrote Axiom The Last Hope, which is a book I talk about with some regularity. You should go check it out. But she sent me this mug, which is such a great gift for me. So it is covered with doodles of stuff that kind of represents the Raven Cycle series. That's already perfect enough as a mug concept, but I actually have this art pinned on my Pinterest in multiple places, so that makes it even more perfect. I could not believe how excited I was when this present arrived for me. 
I'm gonna be drinking out of it all the time. And this one is from uh, Society6. There you go, Society6. Also, I collect mugs, so this is perfect as one to add to my collection and to commemorate my new obsession with the series this year. The last three things are all from Janelle, so we have two pieces of art. First of all, this one, which just says, what do you know about Welsh kings? Gansey is my favorite character in the Raven Cycle. I love him to the ends of the earth and back, and I would willingly walk into hell for him. So to have Gansey themed items, it's pretty wonderful. This is like his iconic line. It's what he says when he meets someone, when he's introducing them to his quest and his passion and his search for something more, and it's going to look beautiful up on my wall. Janelle knows me so well. Wait, do you guys see the mug she got me? But before that, she also got me one other piece of art, and that is this one. It is 300 Foxway Psychic Services. So this is just to commemorate 300 Foxway and these psychic services which are offered there by uh, Blue's family, if not Blue herself. And this is gorgeous. Like, this piece of art is just... It's wonderful enough on its own as it relates to the Raven Cycle, but it's also a gorgeous design and one that I think is going to look really beautiful up on my wall, especially because my walls in here are blue. So it's just gonna like, it's just gonna pop off the wall and it'll be blue just like 300 Fox Way. Another excellent choice. And I might put it next to What Do You Know About Welsh Kings? Because then Blue and Gansey would be together in art form. Both of these pieces of art, by the way, are from Society6, so... In case you're interested and you want to go looking for stuff, there you go. I actually almost got this for Janelle. We each got each other a Raven Cycle mug and Raven Cycle art for Christmas and birthdays. So you know. That's where we're at right now. She got a Ronin mug and I got a Gansey mug. I'll show you. This mug nearly made me cry on Christmas Day when I opened it because it is so deeply perfect for me. It says, best mom of the year. Gansey. And I love it. This mug is also from Society6. As I've already said, Gansey is my favorite character. I like cry thinking about Gansey. I get so emotional about this boy and his mom-like tendencies and the way he must herd all of his magical children around him at any given time. And this like, in sentiment is perfect and it's also beautiful. I love the animals. I love the little bee. There's a nice little bee on there. Um, and yeah, I just, I absolutely love this mug, and it was a perfect way to kind of cap off a year of me falling in love with the series, falling in love with Gansey and the rest of the people in the Raven Cycle, and I cannot believe that Janelle and I each got mugs and art for each other to talk about her favorite characters. If you're curious about the art and the mug that I got her, that is going to be in the vlog that I took while I was visiting her, so look out for that. But anyway, that is it. Those are all of the Christmas presents I wanted to talk about that I got for this Christmassy season from all of the various people that I got these items from. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a happy holidays or a happy few days in general. If you don't celebrate whatever your situation is, I just hope that it was a happy week for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!